Hello everyone, welcome to PB Maths. For this video, I am going to solve a problem algebra. The question is 1 whole divided by BC times A minus B times A minus C plus 1 whole divided by AC times B minus C times B minus A plus 1 whole divided by AB times C minus A times C minus B. If you guys are interested to solve this problem, you can pause this video now and try to solve. Otherwise, let's begin to solve this problem. To find this solution, let's try to make denominators with same expressions. As you can see here, here we have A minus C, but here we have C minus A. So, let's try to make this A minus C into C minus A. Similarly, here you can see that we have B minus C, but here we have C minus B. And here you can see that we have A minus B, but here we have B minus A. So, let's first try to make these denominators with the same expression so that we can find out that LCM easily. For that, let's multiply both numerators and denominators by minus 1 to each of these three expressions then we have 1 whole divided by bc times a minus b times a minus c into minus 1 by minus 1 plus 1 whole divided by ac into b minus c times b minus a into let's multiply minus 1 and also divide minus 1. Then in that third expression also do the same thing that is plus 1 whole divided by AB times C minus A times C minus B into minus 1 by minus 1. Now by multiplying minus 1 to this numerator we are going to have minus 1 whole divided by let's write these two terms as it is that is bc into bracket a minus b and let's multiply this minus 1 to this binomial that is minus 1 into a becomes minus a minus 1 into c becomes minus c becomes plus c so we can write that as c minus a so this minus c turns out plus c and this a becomes minus a plus let's do the same at here in the second expression we're gonna write that these two expressions as it is in the denominator 1 into minus 1 gives us minus 1 whole divided by ac times b minus c times here minus 1 into plus b that is that becomes minus b minus 1 into minus a becomes plus a again plus in the third expression same thing happens 1 into minus 1 that is you are going to get minus 1 whole divided by a b times c minus b times we get b minus c now let's try to make this expression same in the denominator here we have AC, here we have AB, here we have BC. So let's multiply both numerators and denominators here by A. So I'm multiplying A to both numerators and denominators. Here in this expression, we have AC. I'm multiplying here with B. I am multiplying B to both numerators and denominators. Then here I am going to multiply C to both numerator and denominator so that I can get A, B, C in each of these three terms. Then by multiplying A, to the, A by A to first expression, B by B to second expression, C by C to third expression, I am going to get minus 1 into A, we are going to get minus A 
whole divided by a into bc that is abc times a minus b times c minus a plus here minus 1 into b gives us minus b whole divided by ac into b gives us abc times b minus c times a minus b then at last plus minus 1 into c that is we get minus c whole divided by a b c into bracket c minus b into bracket b minus c now if you observe the denominators now all the three denominators are having most common terms so here we have a b c times a minus b times c minus a here a b c times b minus c times a minus b and here we have a b c times c minus b times b minus c so let's try to find out the lcm of these three expressions so the lcm by finding the lcm we are going to get a LCM as ABC that is LCM of these three terms is equals to ABC times A minus B times we get B minus C times we get C minus A. This is going to be the LCM of these three terms. So now let's try to simplify the part so here we have a b c times a minus b times c minus a but we don't have this b minus c in the first expression so we should multiply this minus a by b minus c here we have a b c times b minus c times a minus b the missing term is c minus a so let's multiply that with this b so I'm going to write here C minus A and in the last expression as you can see we have ABC times C minus B times B minus C. What is the missing term is A minus B. So let's multiply that one at here. Then I'm going to write here C times of A minus B. Now let's simplify each of these numerators then by multiplying we get minus a into b gives us minus a b minus a into minus c gives us plus a c then plus into minus we get minus minus b into c gives us minus b c minus b into minus a gives us plus a b at last again here also plus into minus gives us minus minus c into a gives us minus a c then here minus a into plus c we should write here it has sorry we should write here minus a into minus c that should be written plus a c here now here minus c into a gives us minus a c then minus c into minus b gives us plus b c whole divided by that lcm a b c times a minus b times b minus c times c minus a now if you observe the numerator here we can cancel minus a b plus a b plus a c minus a c minus b c and plus b c. So everything in the numerator get cancelled out. Then in the numerator we have 0 whole divided by this LCM part that is a b c times a minus b times b minus c times c minus a so in the numerator we have zero it means that this entire expression value is equal to zero that is the solution
i hope you all got this solution thank you for watching the video